other places, uh, some of the streets has been named after uh, some of the professors. We have over 60,000 students here, but it will interest you to, to note that um, about 80% of them doesn't have accommodation. 80% of them doesn't have accommodation. This university was built by the British, or well, it was the British who built um, thus because this university was somewhere and then they moved into this place. So the first lectures were Ghanaians and the British. Hence the type of shingles that they use. Every university has a peculiar thing. Every university in Ghana has a peculiar thing. You will never get any of the shingles here like this in any of the universities. Their color is always white and then the uh, brown uh, uh, brick tiles. This is one of their uh, uh, dormitories or one of their houses. Now, as I said, it has been named after various leches. Some of them are British leches who are here, and some of them are Ghanaians who have performed very well. When I say performed very well, I'm talking in terms of uh, portraying a certain character that the society uh, likes so much. So they have been named after road, after some of the buildings here. Now, one notable thing about this university is most of the trees on campus are mahogany. Most of the trees on campus are mahogany. Mahogany trees. And we all know what mahogany tree is. No, we don't. So you have to oh, okay. Out. It's a very strong wood that is being used for furniture and a whole lot. Apart from that, traditionally, traditionally, if someone is anemic, uh, you get the back of mahogany, wash it nicely, put it in a clay pot uh, for, for that. Put it in a clay pot, add water, put it on fire to boil. The color changes to become reddish, like blood. Even when you smell it, it looks like blood. So the patient drinks it. Within two or three days, his blood level is restored. Some of them even that the same day. Yeah, so much iron in it. Yeah. The leaves also is being used for so many things, for herbal medicine. Now, on your right is the BAM library. Is the BAM library. I'm going to for right here. It is believed to be the second largest library in Africa. The first one is in Mali, Timbuktu. Mali, Timbuktu. There are a lot and a lot of professors and students who travel all around Africa, and even right now outside Africa to come and research here in this university. <laughs> Some of the halls, uh, we're going to see Volta Hall. Volta Hall is coming up on your left. It is ladies' hall. Volta is a ladies' hall. So this is Volta Hall. Because of the Christmas, so um, they're on vacation. So all this is Volta Hall, and this is another hall. And then coming up on your right is the business school. The business school. 
Both in Alpha. Oh, sorry, in Alpha right. In Alpha right, I'm going down on the right. It's the business school. I I wanted to see some of the or the type of accommodation uh, that they have here, and thus accommodation uh, is called hostel. These hostels were built by uh, some of them are couples, some of them are associations, some of them are churches that they acquire the land and put up that hostel. They rent them to students who come or who gain admission into the campus or to the university. This is the Institute of Statistics. Statistics. I'm saying that I'm going to send you an egg and let's buy it. Sorry. Everybody's on vacation. It's like a, yes. it's like a ghost town today. But it is. <laughs> Only few. Almost, almost all of them are gone. Almost all of them. But nevertheless, family, it's, it's the schedule. What it is you know? We have to take it to the university. So at least you see the structure. But uh, sometimes we get here. It's a week end. Sometimes we get here and it's a busy school day. And sometimes we get here. It's a holiday. Can you give some information about the students? Can you tell, can you give some information about the students that go to the university? Yeah, I will. Yes. Students, uh, as you all are aware, their tuition and everything is being paid by the parents. But there are a lot of them also that are on uh, scholarships. Scholarship, scholarship uh, um, from some companies, one like a, a cocoa board. Cocoa Board is one of the, the the company that buys cocoa from the farmers. 
also it is the Tokwan Nkumada Institute does scholarship. And basically that scholarship was for cocoa farmers' children. Farmers' children. But currently there are some people who are not cocoa farmers' children, but they, you know they are also enjoying. Nestle Ghana Limited also has a um, scholarship for students. What they do is that they pay your tuition, they pay everything, that at the end of your course, you come and then uh, work with them. Especially they look at the, a certain area that they are so much interested. They also do sandwich program. Yeah, that's the School of Genetic and Medicine. Oh, wow, we see a student. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I call him the lone student. <laughs> the lone student. In, in a ghost town. Folks <laughs> 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 uh, are you like, did you guys just drive us to an empty university with no one around? <laughs> oh, there are people around. You can see there are people around. There's a school of pharmacy on your right. School of Pharmacy and midwifery. We have midwifery behind the Street. Mohammed is not here at the moment. <laughs> Where's the SIM card that goes back in here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, I just said Charles. 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 Yes. Okay. Charles. Yes. Okay. Yeah, once we go back, once we go back to, to the Hold front, on. we'll see yeah, them. We are just getting out. You. Yeah. You just tell them to wait right there, and that's what happens when you miss the bus. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, family. We, you know, it's one of those things, family. We talk about. I'm a real as you get. You know what I mean? If you, if we're already in two or three people, just lagging. We're gonna have to leave you. So, if we leave you, just holler at folks at the receptionist, and they'll let you know where we are, and they'll connect you with us. But this is a serious operation when we're moving. Yeah, we're fine. We're out. We're fine. We're out. We can stay for the same. And Sorry. we will never complete our schedule if we sit around and wait for one or two laggers. The Department of History is just on our right side. Um, there's one of the halls. We have Legal Hall coming on our right. Then we have Ikwafo Hall also ahead of us. And then in the middle of this roundabout is their symbol, the university symbol. Their stadium is on our right, mini stadium. There are four mini stadium in the campus. In the university, we have four mini stadium. Yes, on the right is Equafu Hall. Equafu means farmers. Um, it is. It, it is true that um, about eighty percent of Ghanaians are farmers. Eighty percent, at least in their homes, they plant something. And farming is the backbone of the country's economy. As a result of that, uh, the previous president, Rollins, who did that, institute an award for farmers. Every first. Friday in December, first Friday in December, is a farmer's day. It's a farmer's day. And then on the right is African studies. Oh, sorry, on your left, on your left, sorry, it's African studies. And then 
coming on the left of the is their studio, African Studies Studio, drama. Those who learn dramatology and the drumming and dancing, this is their studio. So this studio, the one uh, oh, just behind us, is called Ifra Sutherland Studio. Ifra Sutherland was a Ghanaian uh, professor who uh, brought a lot of renovation into uh, the uh, Ghanaian uh, cultural dance and a whole lot, including the late Iate and others. They have been named after some of the uh, uh, studios over here. Mr. Yate uh, was a Ghanaian um, who did a com contemporary dance almost around the whole world. It will also interest you to know that um, about 40% of the lectures, 40% of the lectures uh, are on campus. The rest of them outside the campus. Almost every year, the population keep on growing. Almost every year. This is on the left, on the right side. These are some of the uh, lectures, uh, uh, their residents. And some of them are almost those on campus are professors. They are professors. Okay. All right, so you'll consider this a real university because you know, some people ask me questions do they have universities in Africa, Ghana, and things that I was like, I was like, just watch. I was uh, amazed, I was shocked, not amazed, I was shocked. One on tour, someone asked me whether we have a university in Ghana. <laughs> I said, uh, uh, no, I even didn't use Ghana. And there's a white lady from Arua University. And, uh, <laughs> and then the person asked, no, she asked two questions uh, on the whole tour. They normally come for a research here in Ghana for three weeks. And then the first question is, uh, he, she wants to know whether we have universities in Ghana. Yeah, well, she's a stupid researcher if she, if she got asked a dumb question. Then I said, then I asked her, do you have an university in Iowa? She said, yes. I said, okay, then we too we have. <laughs> the second question that she asked us, um, she said, I was told that African lives on trees. Is it true? Then I said, yes. I said, I want to see the tree. That's okay, no problem. If you want to see the tree, you will see the tree. And for the first week, at the end of the first week, now straight ahead of us is some of the um, hostels that they have. Those are halls. Noguchi, Noguchi research number. And then I said yes. So after the first week, he said, "Oh, uh, you haven't shown me the type of trees that African lives on." I said, "Okay, don't worry. Open your eyes, you will see." <laughs> after the second week, the third week, one day we are filling the valuation form, and then she raised her hands and said. You've answered so many questions, but you never answered my question. I don't know what I've done to you. I said, what is it? He said, I asked, I want to see the trees that African lives on, and you never shown me. So then I said, oh, okay. Um, let me ask you a question. In Ghana, we ask questions in questions. So let me also ask you a question. When you came here, where were you sleeping? He said, I had a nice hotels, and I said, did you take some pictures? He said, yes. I said, let me see. She showed it to me. I said, what type of food do you eat? I said, oh, very nice, tasty food, and this and that. Then I asked, so do you believe what you have seen and experienced? Do you believe what your lecturer or your teacher told you? When you came, have you seen someone descending from a tree? He said, no. Have you seen someone climbing a tree? He said, no. 
not even mango tree. He said, yes. I said, okay. Then go and educate your people and let them know that Africans don't live on tree. And tell them that you have been there yourself. You have experienced, you have seen it. There is no Africa that lives on tree. She, she broke down and started sharing tears. Damn white devils, man. Yeah. 